Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Like Tech Programming. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how we can create a test form like by using HTML and CSS, and we also include the validation inside the form by using JavaScript. And uh, now, now, let's start our project now. First of all, I'm going to create the file, and that is file. That file is named going to be like index.html. And if you, we like gonna be added any kind of CSS styling inside this main file, then we have also we have been created the uh, CSS file for this, like style dot CSS. So uh, after this, I'm going to just add the basic structure of HTML, like this one. And here I'm going to be add the title of like form validation, form validation. After that, I'm going to be like uh, create and div with the name of container, and that is necessary. Uh, not every project, but it's completely up to up to you guys. Uh, either you gonna gonna be added uh, the or like created the div class or not. Okay, after this, I'm going to pause and heading like this. Like this. Before this heading, I'm going to also include uh, the div class main for inside. Inside of this, I'm going to add the text of form validation. Like, or I'm going to see JavaScript. Just spelling this right now form JavaScript form validation, and after that, I'm gonna be save this file and went in, went to into all my project and run this project now. Run it, it will take some time because uh, okay, you can see this guys, it's gonna be running now very well. Form after this, I'm gonna be uh, add the inline styling. To a main file like margin is gonna be like into a main file like index.html padding is gonna be like zero out as well body I'm gonna be overflow at the overflow that's hidden because it's necessary while we while we are developing the website or any kind of other portfolios CMS, CRMs, all these kind of things in by using Scratch. So it's necessary to uh, add this CSS property into our body tag. So save the file and also link this file into our main file now. So for this thing, link H reference and first REL relation. R E L style sheet and inside of this H reference I'm gonna be add the style.css and after this I am adding the CSS property into a main file like main CSS class not the main file like main CSS class and I'm gonna be adding like body background color not the body background color is gonna be like uh it's completely up to you guys what kind of background color you need for your development and it's gonna be like 100% height gonna be like like 100 bh so save the file just check out our result now what kind of result we have after this adding this cs properties so reload the page you can see this guys as our results is also inside of this thing after this i'm gonna be at the inside of this form and inside of form tag form I'm sorry not exactly here like form save the form close this form tag after this I'm passing in a name like my form and after this uh, I will be performing like on submit on submit uh, return how oh, ETO return and 
and also validation with form the function name i'm going to pass the function name inside of this on separate function and after that i'm also going to be passing the method there are two type of methods we have been using while uh, you can see this guys while we want to be uh, get any kind of value we can use this get method and if we want to submit any value inside our form then we have to use this post method now so i'm gonna be uh, add this post method to this method attribute uh, okay after this i'm just going to be with the like label Close this label and what we can see just only about adding one attribute like name. Okay, now this basic formal addition is about the this when we clicking on submit button, it will give us the alert box uh, to tell us that our input field is going to be empty. So we should have been adding the uh, any kind of text inside of input field after that it will not show us the alert box while we are submit so while we are click on the submit button right guys after that i'm gonna be uh, this like label input type and input type so type text name f name like f name but it's completely up to you guys what you want to be prepared here right now and I think it's gonna be good now. So after that, I'm gonna be also including input type submit and button like submit value will be the submit. So our form is complete now. After this, I'm gonna be like uh, adding some CSS to all these child attributes like child things heading form labels inputs with the help of this main class because i already declare everything inside of this main class so main class using now main class selector h1 text align center color will be the white because the background color is going to be the brown it's completely up to you what kind of color uh, you want to add into a heading and for family, I'm gonna be add the font family. It's come, uh, like this one. Font size, not really the font size. Um, okay, save this thing. Check out the result now. Reload the page. You can see this, guys. Got it. And I'm gonna be just add something like margin top as well. And I'm gonna be say like 10 percent, not the 10 percent, 15 percent. Save the file went to a browser now to check out the result now reload the page okay this is gonna be just something else uh, there will be an issue because it's overlapping the main file so uh, like let's sort out this problem now if we am gonna be this float left because then what will be happen you can see this guy float left while i'm using this property it will uh, release the uh, like overlap and see like overlapping thing all these kind of thing to main parent attribute to child attribute like right guys if i'm not going to be use this for left it will exactly uh creating that issue while we are uh, adding the margin top to our heading now after this i'm also as well adding the margin left as well so it's 15 percent Okay, there will be another issue because adding in is something like as we are giving the so that's why I'm gonna be uh, okay uh, due to some there is any issue between all these kind of things I'm gonna be uh, declare this or just I'm gonna be add this adding the outside of this main class so save the file and just look at out check out the result now what kind of result we have okay so this thing is gonna be the issue one mm. for this reason uh, the problem is this the thing is this if I'm gonna be use position 
relative and adding this thing again inside of main class and check out the result if again this thing is gonna be like creating issue while you are giving the margin top to this heading one uh, okay after that using this main class for form because we have form inside of this main class first of all I'm going to be at the margin top to check out the issue either it's going to be working fine or not or this thing is going to be like a very bad approach so while I'm giving all this kind of thing into a container because it's a main uh, parent thing like parent class and main class is a child class to appear out to the parent class or save the file and check out the result now okay it's gonna be creating a, again commenting this thing so to sort out this problem what is the exact issue if I'm not gonna be adding this main class because it's all completely overlapping the uh, you can see this it's gonna be complete again so there is no other h1 adding something all this kind of stuff so I'm directly adding the oh sorry no need of this I'm just directly adding the So uh, there is no background, I think background code is there now. Reload the page and check out the result now. After that, okay, it for uh, just a second we have to check it the form as well. There are creating any problem like giving the margin top like 20%. Or uh, it's creating again the problem guys. I'm not giving any kind of CSS properties to all these kind of things and also as well as well I'm gonna be remove the container so for this I'm just gonna be leave our main goal is gonna be that we have to achieve the uh, have to achieve that thing is that it that is like validation so I'm gonna just include all kind of validation script tag Close this tag. How I PHP. The script tag is going to be now closed now. Save this thing. And initializing the function which we have been passed into like here to this attribute function validation. Oh, sorry addition form and like this let like where what you can say uh, I'm going to be where word something or not gonna be like message I'm gonna be initialized with the variable of with the name of message and also using the document document all forms Form, not the really my form is exactly the my form. My form, and what is the second article is f name dot value. Close this thing, and if condition we have been using got to gonna be the if condition if x or not thing is gonna be like message. It's not x message passing something like this if there is equal equal to string and null like I'm not sure if there is nothing inside of input type then it shows the alert box or alert message uh, kindly uh, add or like fill 